So we're going to start learning about mutations, and we're going to start by reading a couple of articles. The first one is mutations, not just for superheroes. So either have a piece of paper out or someone nearby to talk to about any key ideas, new learnings, or questions you might have. So in movies and comic books, mutations make people into superheroes like Wolverine. In the real world, though, mutations often have no visible effect at all. Movie mutations. In movies, mutations are always exciting. They might give someone special powers or extra limbs. However, real mutations can be very boring. They might not have any noticeable effect at all. What is a mutation anyway? The answer has to do with genes and the way they are passed down when organisms reproduce. Genes are instructions for making protein molecules, and those protein molecules determine an organism's traits. When organisms reproduce, they pass down copies of their genes to their offspring. However, the copies aren't always perfect. As genes are duplicated, changes can occur. And these changes are called mutations, and they can be passed from parent to offspring when organisms reproduce. Most of the changes are minor and don't affect traits at all, but every once in a while, mutated genes give instructions to take a new protein molecule that leads to a new trait in the offspring. The new traits that arise from mutations may be adaptive or non-adaptive, or they may have no effect on survival and reproduction. It all depends on the organism's environment. If a new trait makes organisms less likely to survive and reproduce in their environment, the trait is non-adaptive. Environment with that trait don't have a very good chance of surviving long enough to reproduce and pass their mutated genes down to the next generation. If they don't pass the mutated genes down, they don't pass the new trait down either. Mutated traits that are non-adaptive usually remain uncommon in the population. On the other hand, mutated genes sometimes result in a new trait that turns out to be adaptive. Adaptive traits help organisms survive and reproduce in their environments. If a mutation results in an adaptive trait, organisms with that trait are more likely to reproduce and pass on their mutated genes in the next generation. Through natural selection, adaptive traits become more and more common in the population over time. A trait that is adaptive in one environment may be non-adaptive in another, and that's what makes mutations so important. Environments don't stay the same forever. Mutations can introduce new traits, increasing the chance that one of those traits might help make a population better able to adopt to a changing environment. Okay, so this is your chance to pause. Any key ideas from the article? Any questions you have? So now we're going to learn more about mutations in a specific organism, the cane toad. Again, have a piece of paper out or someone next to you to talk about key ideas, new learnings, and questions you may have. So on the left is a cane toad. Cane toads like this one can grow up to be 22 centimeters or about 9 inches long and weigh up to 1.8 kilograms or 4 pounds. Huge poisonous toads have invaded Australia. Humans brought cane toads from Asia to Australia in the 1930s, hoping the toads would eat beetles that, that were destroying crops. crops. Unfortunately, the toads didn't eat many beetles. They ate almost anything else that could fit into their mouths, however. The big toads grow up to 22 centimeters, 9 inches long, and weigh up to 1.8 kilograms, 4 pounds. Cane toads are extremely poisonous, and no Australian predators can survive eating them. Without predators in their new environment, the cane toad population began growing and spreading. Today, cane toads are common in areas more than 1,500 kilometers, 932 miles, from the place where they were first introduced to Australia. Because there are so many cane toads in Australia, they compete with each other for food. The cane toads are eating everything in sight, so food becomes scarce in any area where they live. To survive, cane toads have to keep moving into new areas with more food sources. The first toads to reach new territory get to eat all the food they want. Slower toads are stuck with whatever is left. Recently, Australian scientists have been finding cane toads with bigger, more muscular legs. These bigger legs can be traced back to mutations that change the toad's genes. Scientists compared the big-legged toads to ordinary cane toads. They identified several gene mutations that gave the cells instructions to make protein molecules that were different from the protein molecules that other toads could make. Protein molecules affected the cane toad's legs, increasing the leg size and strength. Having bigger legs is an adaptive trait that helps cane toads survive in an environment where there isn't much food to go around. 
Bigger, stronger legs help these toads outrun other cane toads and be the first ones to get to the food in new areas, with better chances of getting food. Big-legged toads are more likely to survive and reproduce. Because of this, they are also more likely to pass on their mutated genes to their offspring. Along with these mutated genes, they pass on their adaptive traits. When humans introduced cane toads to Australia, the cane toads' environment changed. With no predators hunting them in their new environment, there were more cane toads and therefore much less food available. However, mutations led to a new trait in the population that turned out to be adaptive in the new environment. The mutated trait for bigger legs was adaptive for cane toads in an environment with scarce food because it helped them get more food and survive. Through the process of natural selection, big leg cane toads are becoming more and more common in the cane toad population. These stronger, faster toads are spreading across Australia, invading new areas all the time. Okay, it's time to write or discuss. What are some key ideas from the article and what questions do you have? When you're done with this, keep these notes on the side because we're going to come back in just a little bit to think more in detail about the cane toads.